Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to assemble bunk bed, it's a combination of bunk bed and uh, sofa. You can extend it to the bunk bed at the bottom or make it sofa, then you fold the bottom part. Hope you enjoyed the video, if yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel as always, you made my day and let's do it now. And we're starting with the side panels. We're gonna join first uh, two legs with the two dividing panels. It's gonna be one side of the bunk bed. So there's two long screws at the bottom connecting the leg with the side panel. There's one washer on each screw. Exactly the same on the other side. Just join the dividing panel with the leg with the two long screws. On the top we got one long screw on each side and one screw with the nut on both sides. Finish it with the Allen key. It's hard to get there with the electric screwdriver, so this is the way. And the other side panel exactly the same. We're gonna join it with the four screws and the two nuts, the whole frame. Secure them all in and we can get ready slowly to put the whole frame together. That's it, the second frame is attached. And we can start with the extending uh, mechanism. We fix it to the side frame with the two screws and two nuts, straight through the side panel from outside, and through the extending mechanism and fix it with the nut. Here you can do it quite firmly, just watch out, the, the metal is quite soft, so when you see it start bending, just stop. You can start to join the whole frame now. This is the dividing panels, which is gonna hold the top parts. It's quite hard to do it when you are uh, assembling alone, but slowly attach the top ones and then you can play with the bottom just exactly the same two long screws attach it and the front is exactly the same two long screws through the leg straight to the dividing panel this is the barrier so the kids then are gonna fall from the bed there's gonna be three screws under and two through the leg on the top one on one side another another side secure them in at this point you don't need to attach it all screws completely in. I like to leave them a little bit loose because uh, sometimes you need to move the frame around so millimeter here and there it helps. This is the front barrier attach it on the side at the bottom with the three screws and now when we have all frame done everything is matching properly we can attach all the screws firmly all around the bed so at this point we're securing all in Make sure all of them they are attached. This is a kit bed, so we want to make sure everything is right in the right position and uh, attached safely. This is the slats. It's a metal slats. Quite hard to attach them, and even harder to take them out. But I succeed at the end. The string going uh, through the slats, and at the end you attach it to the bottom of the top frame. This is gonna be the frame for the bottom bed or the sofa we put it on the extending mechanism joining with the hook leg at the front one screw through the frame straight to the leg and four screws is gonna be two on each panel securing the whole thing and join with the nut under it it's gonna be four screws four nut on each side secure it properly this is important because it's gonna be open and closed so all the time probably and we can do the ladder now. So we're gonna have two sides and four dividing panels. Attach it to the bed frame. This is the hook which is gonna connect the ladder with the bed frame. So the ladder not gonna go all over the place and that's it. Okay guys, and this is it. This is the bank bed assembly. Hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You know it helps a lot. Thank you very much. And see you in my next one very, very soon. Thank you for watching guys. Have a beautiful day.